Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. We are closing out our well-watered women study today and um, going to start Proverbs 31 tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I'll let y'all hop in. So it is beautiful where I live today. Um, these flowers, I, I just feel like they're just so beautiful right now. We use these for the um, photo shoot. Um, but it's so pretty here. What's the weather like where you are? Um, where are y'all from? I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee, and it's beautiful here today. It's just so beautiful. So where are you from, and what's the weather like where you are? We'll just give everybody a, a few minutes to hop in. Sunny in Missouri. Gorgeous. I feel like this is just a little tease. I think that it's going to get cold again. Warm and sunny in Atlanta. So fun. Cloudy there. So for some reason, it Ukraine, wow, that's crazy. Um, for some reason, it's just so beautiful today. And I don't know about y'all, but it seriously makes me just ready for the week that it's so pretty outside. Um, but I'm sure it's just a little tease because I bet it's going to get cold again. So fun. Okay, awesome. Well, hey guys, we are closing out our Well-Watered Women study. I'm so thankful that y'all have stuck with me through this. Um, it has been so fun just to talk about what the Well-Watered Woman looks like, how she lives. And I pray that this has been something that has encouraged you and um, really equipped you to just want to get into the Word of God every day. That's my whole goal in this study is to want you, literally the title of this Periscope today is Pick Up Your Fork. So I don't want you to be spoon fed. I don't want you to constantly just come and go, okay, I'm going to receive, receive. But literally, I want to hand you a fork for you to be able to just pick up your Bible every day and to study it and to eat truth for breakfast and to live in God's Word. So that's been the whole purpose of the study. Um, today, we're closing it out. Um, there's one last day. If you're following our guide, there's one last day for you to read, but I'm going to let you do tomorrow's on your own um, because it's something just about sending you out into the world because when we come to the Word of God, it comes in our hearts and it changes us and it makes us more like Christ. So we want God's Word to come into us and then to compel us to go out and to live it. And so you will finish that one tomorrow. And... Um, Connection keeps getting lost. Are y'all, is y'all's connection okay? Let me make sure before I keep going. Um, let me know about the, the connection. I'll wait a second. It's okay? Okay. I'm downstairs. It's better now. Okay. Sometimes this internet thing, it is just crazy. I can be on internet and off and it can just be weird. Maybe it's Periscope. Um, awesome. So today we're going to close out. I'm going to kind of share with you some of the things that God's been teaching me. And then for those of you who are joining in our Proverbs 31 study starting tomorrow, I wanted to share with you how that's going to go and how we're going to sort of break that down and do that together. Um, so before we begin, it's Monday morning. Um, did you see, did I see Starkville, Mississippi? I've been there before. Hey, Chantal. Um, so before I start going, I just want to pray for us. Um, because it is Monday morning, and I feel like Mondays are just the days that I'm really overwhelmed with the week. I'm kind of thinking about all the things ahead, and I'm sure you are too, and I'm grateful you're starting your day with me, but I just want to pray a blessing over you before we begin. So let's pray. God, I thank you for these friends that are joining in with me from all over the world. Father, it's Monday morning. You know that, and you know the things that are on our hearts already. But God, you are so big, and we just want to start this week praising you for your sovereignty and your goodness. God, I pray that the things that are weighing heavily on us and just the lists that are laid out before us, that we would not let those rule our hearts and our days and our joy, but God, that your joy and that your um, your wonder and your majesty would literally be our strength and the reason that we live. And so, Father, I pray that for these women that um, feel burdened already and worried, that they would just let go of all of these things and live as well-watered women who just come to you and drink of your truth and go and live it in the world. God, I pray that you would compel us and fill us and lead us by your spirit. Um, just bless this time that we have on Periscope together and the time that we are going to spend in March studying the Proverbs 31 woman. Lord, show us what it means to live a gospel-centered life as we study this through the Word of God. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Um, so today, um, if you are going through the Well-Watered Women study, you did a few of the studies um, of the pages this past weekend. And one of the things that you went through was it's called Pick Up Your Fork. So this was the page on how to study the Bible. Um, I've done several periscopes on how to study the Bible. Um, someone asked where you can get the Proverbs study. You can go to store.lifelivebeautifully.com, but um, that's a really long name. So if you go to at LLB shop on Instagram, the link is there and it's really easy. Um, but I've put up a blog post at lifelivebeautifully.com as well. 
Um, so we talked about pick up your fork, how to study the Bible. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about how I study the Bible and how I break it down, um, I use the Give Me Jesus journal each day. I've done several periscopes on that and, um, and videos too. So I'm, I'm not going to do that today. I encourage you to go to catch.me slash LLBeautifully. You can also go to YouTube and I have a whole video that's um, how to study the Bible. It's Lifely Beautifully. I use the same name. So um, I encourage you to go there. But my whole purpose in this section was to give you a basic breakdown and to give you a fork, like I said, so you can literally pick up your Bible and study the Word of God. Um, Catch is not an app. It is, it's K-A-T-C-H. It's a website and it, it collects all of these videos. So it's K-A-T-C-H. Someone, if you know that, could you type it in the bottom? Um, that would be so helpful. Um, and so the whole reason, I just want y'all to know, the whole reason that after that page I put this spirit-led picture is because, not just because it's a pretty picture. Yes, it's beautiful and I love that, but because it speaks. It speaks a truth that we as believers should be led by the spirit. When we're reading the word of God, that we are spirit-led. Whenever we go out and we live in this world, we should be led by the spirit. And his anointing upon us should make us look different than the world. We should act different. We should have different passions and desires and dreams. We should spend our money differently. Just everything about our lives should take this different form because we are led by the Spirit. He He leads us as we go. Um, I've been reading through the Bible this year with um, the Taste and See Challenge. So some of you have been joining in on that. We're reading through the Bible. And right now I'm in Leviticus. And one thing that I noticed recently that is so beautiful is that God never left his people ever. He gives this beautiful picture um, that, that he literally, it says that, um, I'm going to find this passage. Okay, it's in Numbers chapter 9, so if you want to look it up. But literally, he was over the tabernacle. And so by day, there was a cloud, and by night, there was a pillar of fire. I mean, just imagine that. How amazing is that? And literally, God's presence never left the people. And so whenever his, the, the cloud lifted and it started moving, the people did too. Now, whenever it stopped, the people stopped. And they literally were led by the Spirit of God, and they were never alone. And I read that recently, and the Lord just reminded me that he, um, granted, it's not by, uh, things are different. It's not by a pillar of fire today, but he leads us. He is constantly with us. He's constantly showing us what we're to do. And so I loved this, that we we are literally to be led by the Spirit as we read the Word of God and as we go throughout our days. And today, we talked about eat truth for breakfast. So this is the page that we read. Um, and this was talking about filling our minds with the Word of God. I love this quote by Marcus Aurelius. He said, your life is what your thoughts make it. And I read that a few years ago. And man, is that not so true? The way that we think and our attitude, it literally shapes the way that we live. So what we believe about God, what we believe about ourselves, what we believe about this life, it shapes the way that we live and our decisions that we make. And so when we fill our minds with truth and with God's word, it shapes it and it makes it to be more like Christ. And it gives us that joy that God longs for us to have. And um, I've been reading through Proverbs as well, just seeking wisdom. And um, that's one thing that I've been hungering after for lately is just I want to know wisdom. I want to be a wise woman. And we'll talk about that as we study Proverbs 31, actually. Um, but one thing that I've noticed over and over and over, I'm in Proverbs chapter 13, is the call to listen. Listen. It literally says, like, listen to the call. Incline your ear. All of these things. Somebody said, how do you fit in your quiet time with the baby in the house? I'm going to answer that in a little bit. Really good question because he is, just so you know, he's upstairs. This is him right now. He's sleeping while I'm doing this. But um, And it keeps calling us to listen. We should have a listening ear that is hearing what God is saying to us. That as we read the word of God, that it's coming in and we're, we're listening. We're meditating on truth. That's what it means to meditate. It means to literally think it over to um, I just, I've had, I've heard the illustration of a cow, like literally they have all these different stomachs and they're constantly digesting and just chewing and chewing and chewing and get every, getting every nutrient out of the food that it eats. That's what we should do with the word of God. When we come and we eat truth for breakfast, we think about it all day long. Now I'm going to give you a practical way that I do that because someone just asked, how do I do this with a baby? So first of all, I want you to know that it's not perfect and it's not the exact same every day. Um, mainly because I have a nine month old and his schedule changes every day. Sometimes he wakes up really early. Sometimes he sleeps in and those days that he sleeps in are just awesome. Um, I see that quote right there. We must exchange whispers with God before shouts with the world. Amen. That's a, I think Lisa Turkhurst. I love that quote. Um, and one thing that I have had to learn in the first few months of having Nolan, um, it was hard to wake up early because as a new mama, you're up all night long. I mean, there's no waking up early. It's 
1 a.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m., I mean, just constantly. And so I had to learn just to ask God to come into those moments. Um, I didn't have an exact time. I didn't wake up early to spend time with the Word of God because I was already up early. Um, but I had to just fill my day with His Word. And so what I did is I sometimes I would have my Bible out. Sometimes I would literally lay Nolan on my chest because he didn't, you know, little newborns don't do that much. So, and I would just read it out loud. Even if it was just a few verses, I would just read it out loud and just ask the Lord to imprint it on my mind. And I would listen to it using a Bible app. And so that's how I did it the first few months because I didn't have those extra moments. I just sort of had to bring it into what I was doing. Now that he's gotten older and he's sleeping a little bit better, I wake up, I try to wake up earlier than him. I say try because sometimes I'll wake up early and he's awake. Um, so if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. But so I try to wake up earlier because it's just that time is more valuable than 30 minutes extra sleep. And um, even if he is awake, you know, I still try to just hold him off in his crib for a little bit so I can spend that time. But I've realized that if I sleep in and I just wake up when he wakes up, I feel very rushed and hurried for the day, and I don't spend that valuable, precious time in God's Word. And um, it equips me so much. I mean, it just gets my heart ready for what is coming for the day. So I wake up earlier. Usually I wake up at um, at 5.45 or 6. So it kind of it kind of changes in between them. And if I go to bed later, I still try to wake up then. And you know what? I just have to ask the Lord. I just have to say, God... You know that I didn't get as much sleep, but I trust that you're going to give me the strength for this day. And sometimes it means that I lay down a little bit in the afternoon when I could be doing things. But um, yes, you said, talked about discipline. It is it's it is a discipline. And I also don't want you to think that every day I'm like, I wake up at 545 and I'm like, man, I'm up and I'm ready to go and I'm so excited. Some days it's really, really hard to get out of bed. So I make it like foolproof. So what I do is I turn the coffee or I have the coffee pot set for in the morning. It's already made. Like literally my coffee is made when I get up because we have a timer. I, I have our coffee mug sitting out. I have um, over here is where I sit and I have my Bible, my journal and a blanket sitting out. And I just come grab a cup of coffee and get get right there with the Lord. And so I just, I try to make it as easy as possible because I know if I wake up and coffee's not ready or that I'm going to, you know, already be feeling, oh, I don't feel like doing that. And y'all, sometimes whenever the coffee's not ready already, I have made hot water accidentally before. Like I've totally forgotten to put the coffee grounds in. I'm not awake whenever I get up right then. So, and and those are the moments that I, I go to get my cup of coffee and I'm like, I never even put the coffee in. This is just hot water. That um, it's just funny. But so I just try to do everything possible, even just to make it a special time with the Lord. And like I said, sometimes I'm able to get 30, 45 minutes in in before I get in the line. Sometimes it's five or 10 minutes. But that time giving Jesus the first moments of my day, it it just prepares me and equips me to be a mom and to be um, to share God's word and to live that truth. Because if I don't, I just know that my day um that I'm living off of my own strength, which is nothing, and I need his desperately. So I would love to even hear what are some things that y'all do just to to eat truth for breakfast and to get up and spend time with the word, um, with the word, with the Lord in the word. I'm sorry. I'm still I'm still drinking some coffee from this morning. Um, yes, sometimes you do it with your four year old next to you. I Nolan's only nine months and I, I've seen mamas who have older children literally just bring them in to their quiet time. Um, a dream that I have for those of you who do the Give Me Jesus journal, a dream I have is to make a kid's journal. So y'all can be praying. I would love to make a kid's quiet time journal. So as mamas, we can give them something that they can feel like they're participating and spending time in the word of God. So that's, that's a big dream that I have. Um, make your coffee and sit in your futon in the dorm before class. Yes, I had a futon in, in college. That is amazing. You try to do it before class. Um, just, yeah, praying first, like literally the moment you get up, just giving the Lord the first moments of your day and saying, God, this is yours. Um, it, it's training our mind and it's an act of surrender. Um, so someone's asking, what is the Give Me Jesus Journal? I'll show you that real quick. So a lot of you know what it is. So bear with me if you if you don't. The Give Me Jesus Journal is a quiet time journal that I created to equip and encourage women to get into the word of God. And um, the first pages of the journal actually have they have prompts for you to go to and um, just different ways, explanations to study God's word. This is an example of one. And then it has kind of a breakdown for you as you study and then a wrap up in the end. So you can see more of, more about it online. And I'm working on the spring one right now. So um, 
I'm working on that whenever I can. It's, it's, it's great. And it's coming together in, in God's timing. Um, so yes. Yeah. The kids journal y'all be praying. Cause that's, that's a big dream. And I would love that to happen because it would just be a great tool for our children and for us as mamas and teachers to disciple children. Um, because I, there's so many things about the word that when I was little, I just didn't even know, you know, I didn't know how it all fit together. And, um, there's a lot of studies coming out, but I think it would be awesome just to teach them that discipline of getting into the word every day. Hey, Shakira, the spring journal, when does it come out? Wonderful question. Um, so normally I have, you know, kind of like deadlines for myself and creating, but, um, I'll just have an honest moment with y'all right now. I have been feeling so overwhelmed trying to just do everything lately in motherhood, trying to run a business during nap time and, um, just share what God's put on my heart and, um, be involved in our church and, um, lead a small group and be a wife and a mom and all these things. I have felt so incredibly overwhelmed. And, um, the Lord recently, he just, he's been really prompting me to just slow down and to do just small things, just exactly what he tells me to do for that day. So it may be like two things and, um, and that's it. And so he's really having me pare down the things that I'm doing. So, um, with that question, I don't know exactly when it's going to come out. I'm working at the pace the Lord allows me to, but, um, I've just sort of gone, okay, God, this is your ministry. And if I'm not being faithful in my home and in my own life, then, then I'm not doing what you've called me to do. And so I want to be faithful behind the scenes that none of y'all will see. N none of you see what my life is behind the scenes, but the Lord does. And I want to stand before him and say, God, I'm being faithful with what you've called me to do. And so, um, so I really don't know. I had so many big things I wanted to come out with and God's just saying, slow down. And so that's what I'm doing. So, um, great question, Shakira, probably April, probably sometime in April. Um, but yes, our first ministry is our family. It's, I'm a first a daughter of God, a disciple of Christ. And, um, and then my, my family is my ministry. I'm going to plug in my phone real quick. So that's, that's a wonderful question. And that's, that's what I just feel like the Lord wants me to be faithful. And um, I don't want to ever tell y'all something that I'm not going to do myself. That I'm going to say, I'm never going to tell you, you know, something God puts on my heart and not practice what I preach. And so um, that means I'm going to slow down. But I will, Periscope is such a blessing to be able to, to share with you on here. Just from my home with my baby upstairs. Um, so thanks for, thanks for moving with me real quick. But I'll share more about that. I've actually written a blog post about how God has called me to say no to something so I can say yes to the greater mission of what he's called me to do. And um, I feel like some of you may need to do that too because I've been, this weekend I just had to go, God, like, this is all yours. And um, so, yes, the best yes, awesome book. That's Lisa Turkhurst had um, helped shape this um, this desire in me. And, and so the Proverbs 31 study, we're going to talk about decisions. We're going to talk about biblical womanhood. And so I almost feel like God is bracing me in a sense and saying, okay, we're going to di dive deep into the word and what I say about this. And it's time to implement these things. Cause when we live according to his ways, it brings so much freedom and joy to our lives. And so, um, I'm going to lead into our Proverbs 31 study. So I have it over there. I just moved over to the couch to, um, to plug my phone in and my study's over there. So let me just grab it real quick, then I'll plug it back in. Sorry, guys. But I'm going to explain to you, for those of you who are joining in the study, again, you can listen as I go. Um, and then you can also join in and actually study Proverbs 31 with us using the workbook. So I'm going to show you what this, what the workbook looks like and what we're going to do for tomorrow. Um, so let me plug this in. Okay. All right. So this is the study that, um, that if you order it, you can go through. Now, tomorrow, we are going to start off, and um, you can go ahead and read. This is just a letter. This is a five-week study, so it's going to be all of um, March, which is awesome. It's every week of March, so go ahead and read the introduction. This is all the introduction. Can you all see that? Um, and then this is, this is a behind the chapter, and I'm going to talk about this tomorrow. So here's behind the chapter. Um, we're going to study this together, and... Um, we're going to do behind the chapter in day one. I know that's a lot, but I only periscope Monday through Friday. So I want y'all to just, if y'all can do that, all of that, and then day one. Can y'all kind of see that? This is day one. Um, and then we'll go on to day two on, two, on Wednesday. Yes. So if y'all can do that for tomorrow, we're going to talk about the behind the chapter, and which is this section, and then day one. So 
Sorry, guys. I'm just sort of holding this. Um, so if you can do that, we are going to normally Periscope Monday through Friday. Since we're starting on Tuesday, which is kind of weird, I'm still going to Periscope Saturday because I want to Periscope daily with this study. I want us to to talk about this. So I want you to come. I'm going to share what God's teaching me through it, and I want you to come and share as well. This is a community. We are all... Um, the Holy Spirit is going to work and teach our hearts through the Word of God. So I want you to come, and I know this is typing for you, but interact as much as you can. Let's encourage each other. Let's get to know each other um, just even through these Periscope sessions and through Instagram. So come and participate. You'll get more out of it. Um, so if you do that, we're going to do the behind the chapter tomorrow and then day one. And then we'll do two, three, four, five, all the way through Saturday. And normally you're going to have a rest weekend. So on Saturday and Sunday, it's a time just to reflect and to go back through what you have studied for the week. And so we are going to do that. If you go to lifelibeautifully.com, I explained all of this on there. So if I'm being confusing right now, <laughs> I'm so sorry. And, um, Lauren, we don't have a printable version right now, uh, but I, I don't know if that'll be in the future, but right now we don't have a printable, printable version. Any specifics of Proverbs for tomorrow? Specific verses. The, you know what? The study, what we do, I'm just going to kind of tell you, is we go through a verse each day. So tomorrow we're going through Proverbs 31.10. It's just one verse a day. And then in the last week, we actually talk about the character of God and how that changes who we are as, as Proverbs 31 women. And um, so each day that we talk about a verse, we actually go into a different woman of the Bible. So we're going to talk about Esther as well. Um, so it's kind of hard to say specific verses because if you've got the study, we go into a lot of verses. I mean, you are going to dive into your Bible. You are going to see how this is all woven throughout all of the Word of God and how this points to Jesus and living a life that that magnifies Him and glorifies Him. So... Um, there's a lot of scripture each day. This is a different study than well-watered women. This is different than planted. Um, you're going to really, really go into in, in depth into this. Um, the, I love this study so much. And for those of you that don't, know, that don't know, I wrote this study last year. So this came out last March, I believe. Um, so March of 2015. And I went through it on per on um, Instagram with people, but there wasn't an opportunity to do Periscope. And I felt like the Lord, now that I've entered a season of motherhood, has wanted me to go through this again and to preach this truth to my heart as well. Um, can you share with some friends? Absolutely. Yeah, y'all can definitely share and just talk talk through it with each other. That would be awesome. Um, and so the study is 20, and then the journal is, um, we've got a version that's 20 and a version that's 25. I hope that that helps. Um, so... I'm really excited, guys. I just, I need these reminders, and I want to go back to the basics, and I want Jesus to be my first love, and that's what I long for, for you too. I want us to live fruitful days. I don't want to waste this life that God has given, and um, I feel like I've wasted some days recently just feeling overwhelmed, and the Lord just keeps reminding me He created us for abundant life in Christ. Um and so I am, I'm just so excited. I feel like this is coming at just the right time. And it's all throughout the, the month of March, which is awesome. It just, um, God just worked that out perfectly because I did not even think about that. Um, so suggestions for how to interact if we don't have the book. Um, still just read if you want to read each verse each day. I'll tell you the verse. So it's Proverbs 31 10. And if you want to just kind of go like, in depth and just start studying the verse yourself and seeing what God teaches you and then kind of seeing what we're saying as well on this. So I think that would be great. Just, um, when you go to that verse, just start meditating on it and thinking about what is God saying in this? Um, and I think it would be neat for you to see what the Lord shows you through that. And, um, and then what we're going through is there going to be a study guide. Um, there's not a study guide for this because everything is, is in this. Um, I, I hope that Mr. Mailman delivers it to you, Susie. <laughs> uh, so I hope that that helps. Um, do you all have any other questions for it? Um, kind of looking, looking at it. And I'll share on Instagram. I'm going to share a graphic on the shop Instagram that is an encouragement from that day's lesson. lesson. So it's something that you can reshare with your friends if you want to, or just something that um, I hope will even remind you of what you've learned. And um, I'll try to share something on Life Live Beautifully Instagram each day as well. Will you periscope during Nolan's nap, AM nap? Yes, I hope to. Some days, um, we're actually we're actually traveling soon. I totally forgot. We're going to be out of town a whole week of this. So I'm going to periscope from airport and different places. Um, 
but I'm going to do it. So I hope to do it in the morning because I think that's the best time for all of us. Um, so yes, Nolan's nap time in the morning, but I just thank you for your grace in advance for if, if it happens in the afternoon, just being a, um, a mama and some days things just don't go exactly like you planned. So thank you for, if it comes on at five o'clock at night, one night or eight o'clock, just thank you for being understanding, but I will, um, you know, by God's grace, do this every day and share what the Lord's teaching and just continue this conversation together. Um, so any other questions? And then I'll just wanted to get a rough idea. Yes, Lisa, <laughs> it is super rough. Um, next week I will be in Lawrenceville, Georgia with my mom. That's her right there. So she, mama, you should join in on some periscopes. Um, that would be awesome. So we'll see if she'll join in with me because she actually helped write this. Um, so, um, that's about it. And I'm going to, I'm going to head out cause I'm working on, I'm going to try to work on the give me Jesus journal while Nolan's napping for a little bit longer. And, um, and I'm excited. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, it'll probably be about 9.30. I'm thinking that we'll do Periscope because um, Nolan has a Mother's Day out, and I'm going to take him there and come back, and and then we'll start. Um, thank you, guys. I'm excited, and I'm expectant at the work that God's going to do in my own heart and, in, and, um, and just through this as we study the Word of God together. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.